Cranes! These magnificent birds captivate us with their grace and beauty. Towering on long legs, they are giants of the avian world. From wetlands to grasslands, their calls echo across the continents. But what exactly are cranes? Let's dive in and learn more about these fascinating creatures. Cranes belong to a special group of birds called Gruiformes. Scientists classify them within the family Gruidae. This family includes 15 distinct species scattered across the globe. Each species has its own unique characteristics and adaptations, but all cranes share certain traits that make them instantly recognizable. From the stately whooping crane of North America to the elegant Cerus crane of Asia, these birds hold a special place in our world. They are a symbol of wilderness and a testament to the beauty of nature. Join me as we explore the lives of these incredible birds, delving into their world and discovering what makes them so unique. Cranes are instantly recognizable by their impressive size, which sets them apart from most other birds you might encounter in the wild. Their tall, stately presence is hard to miss, whether they're wading through wetlands or striding across open grasslands. In fact, cranes are among the tallest of all flying birds on the planet. When you see a crane standing next to other birds, the difference in height is truly remarkable. Their long legs and upright posture make them look even taller, giving them a commanding presence in their habitats. Imagine this, some cranes can stand nearly as tall as a human adult. It's not uncommon for certain species to reach shoulder height, making them one of the few birds that can look a person in the eye. The Cerus crane, for example, is a true giant among birds. It can reach heights of over six feet, making it the tallest flying bird in the world. But size isn't the only thing that makes cranes so fascinating and unique. Cranes are also known for their long, slender necks and legs, which give them an unmistakable silhouette. These features not only help them wade through deep water in search of food, but also add to their air of elegance and grace as they move. Their wingspans are equally impressive. When a crane spreads its wings in flight, it's a breathtaking sight. The sheer size and power of their wings allow them to soar gracefully over long distances, often migrating thousands of miles each year. Some species, like the majestic whooping crane, have wingspans that can stretch over seven feet from tip to tip. This incredible wingspan helps them glide effortlessly through the air and makes them one of the most impressive flyers in the bird world. Cranes also display a stunning variety of colors and patterns. The Siberian crane, for instance, is known for its pure white plumage, which stands out beautifully against the green wetlands. In contrast, the Demoiselle crane features striking black and white feathers, creating a dramatic and elegant look. Many crane species are adorned with bright red markings on their heads, often around the eyes or beak. These vivid splashes of color not only add to their striking appearance, but also play an important role in communication and courtship displays, helping cranes recognize each other and attract mates. With their impressive size, graceful features, and vibrant colors, cranes truly are some of the most remarkable birds in the world. Cranes have a long and fascinating evolutionary history. Fossil evidence suggests that cranes have graced our planet for millions of years. Imagine these majestic birds soaring over prehistoric landscapes. Their lineage stretches back to the time of dinosaurs. Scientists believe that cranes share a common ancestor with other birds in the order Gruiform. This order includes a diverse group of birds, such as rails, crakes, and bustards. While these birds may not look alike, they share certain anatomical features that point to their shared ancestry. Over millions of years, cranes have evolved and diversified to fill a variety of ecological niches. Their long legs and necks, for example, are adaptations for wading in shallow water. Their diverse beak shapes reflect their varied diets, which we'll explore in a later section. Cranes are a truly global family of birds, their presence gracing every continent except Antarctica and South America. Their remarkable adaptability has allowed them to thrive in a wide variety of environments, from the icy reaches of the north to the sun-baked plains of the south. From the frigid tundra of Siberia where they endure harsh winters, to the golden savannas of Africa where they dance among tall grasses, cranes have evolved to survive and flourish in some of the planet's most diverse and challenging habitats. Their ability to adapt is a testament to their resilience and resourcefulness. Let's take a closer look at some of the most fascinating crane species found across the globe. Each one is a unique thread in the vibrant tapestry of life with its own story, behaviors, and adaptations that set it apart from the rest. The Sandhill Crane, a familiar sight in North America, is renowned for its impressive long-distance migrations. These elegant birds are often seen gliding gracefully over wetlands and grasslands, their calls echoing across the landscape. 
Every year, sandhill cranes embark on epic journeys traveling thousands of miles between their northern breeding grounds and southern wintering areas. Their V-shaped formations in the sky are a symbol of endurance and unity as they navigate vast distances together. In the wetlands of Southeast Asia, the majestic Saris crane stands tall, literally. As the tallest flying bird in the world, the Saris crane can reach up to six feet in height. Its striking red head and stately presence make it a true icon of the region's wetlands. The gray-crowned crane with its dazzling golden crest and elegant plumage is not only a marvel of beauty but also a national symbol of Uganda. These cranes are often seen performing elaborate courtship dances, a spectacular display of grace and coordination. The whooping crane once teetering on the edge of extinction is now a beacon of hope for conservationists. Thanks to dedicated efforts, their numbers are slowly recovering, and these rare birds can once again be seen in protected wetlands, a living reminder of what can be achieved when people come together to protect wildlife. Each species of crane with its own unique adaptations and stories contributes to the rich diversity of life on Earth. Their journeys, struggles, and triumphs remind us of the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of preserving the natural world for generations to come. Cranes are often associated with wetlands and for good reason. These elegant birds are a familiar sight in marshes and swamps across the globe, where their graceful movements and distinctive calls echo through the reeds. Wetlands provide cranes with abundant food, shelter, and nesting sites, making them ideal habitats for many species. These birds are perfectly adapted for life in these watery environments. Their bodies are built for wading and foraging, allowing them to thrive where other birds might struggle. Wetlands are teeming with life, and cranes take full advantage of the rich resources found there. Their long legs allow them to wade through shallow water while their long necks and beaks give them access to food sources like fish, frogs, and aquatic plants. With their sharp eyesight, cranes can spot prey beneath the water's surface, and their powerful beaks help them catch and eat a variety of foods, from slippery fish to tender shoots. But cranes are not limited to wetlands. These adaptable birds can also be found in a surprising range of other habitats, showing just how versatile they are. They can also be found in grasslands, savannas, and even agricultural fields. In some regions, cranes have learned to take advantage of human-altered landscapes, foraging in rice paddies and farmlands where food is plentiful. This adaptability has helped some species survive in areas where natural wetlands have disappeared. The key requirement for crane habitat is the presence of shallow water for foraging and nesting. Shallow water not only provides food, but also protection from predators and a safe place to raise their young. Cranes often build their nests on small islands or in dense vegetation near water, where their chicks are less likely to be disturbed. This could be a marsh, a lake edge, a river delta, or even a flooded rice paddy. Wherever there is water and food, cranes can make a home. These diverse habitats support different crane species, each with their own unique behaviors and adaptations. Some crane species, like the sandhill crane, are migratory, traveling long distances between their breeding and wintering grounds. Their journeys can span thousands of kilometers, crossing continents and following ancient flyways that have been used for generations. Migration is a challenging time, but it allows cranes to take advantage of seasonal food supplies and safe nesting sites. Others, like the ceruse crane, are resident, staying in the same general area year-round. These cranes become a familiar part of the landscape, forming strong bonds with their territory and returning to the same nesting sites each season. Their presence is a sign of a healthy, thriving ecosystem. No matter where they live, cranes play an important role in their ecosystems, helping to control populations of their prey and disperse seeds through their droppings. By moving between habitats and interacting with other species, cranes help maintain the balance of nature, making them vital to the health of the environments they call home. Cranes are opportunistic omnivores, which means they eat a wide variety of foods, both plants and animals. Their diet varies depending on their location, the time of year, and the availability of food. In general, cranes are not picky eaters and will consume whatever food source is most abundant. During the breeding season, cranes need a protein-rich diet to support egg production and chick rearing. They will feed on insects, fish, frogs, snakes, and even small mammals. In the non-breeding season, they may switch to a more plant-based diet, consuming seeds, berries, roots, and tubers. Cranes have been known to follow farmers' plows, picking up insects and rodents disturbed by the tilling. They may also visit agricultural fields to feed on spilled grain. While their foraging habits can sometimes bring them into conflict with humans, cranes play an important role in controlling pest populations and dispersing seeds. 
Cranes are known for their elaborate courtship displays, which often involve intricate dances, calls, and even gifts. These displays are a sight to behold, a testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world. Once a pair bond is formed, cranes are typically monogamous, mating for life. Cranes build their nests on the ground, often in shallow water or among dense vegetation. Both parents share in the responsibility of nest building, incubation, and chick rearing. Crane chicks are precocial, meaning they are born covered in down and able to walk soon after hatching. However, crane chicks still rely heavily on their parents for food and protection. The parents will fiercely defend their young from predators, which can include foxes, raccoons, eagles, and even alligators. With careful parenting, crane chicks have a good chance of survival. They will fledge or develop their flight feathers at around two to three months of age. While cranes are resilient birds, they face a number of threats, many of which are caused by human activities. Habitat loss is a major concern for crane populations worldwide. As wetlands are drained for agriculture and development, cranes are losing their nesting and foraging grounds. Pollution is another threat. Pesticides and other chemicals can contaminate crane food sources, leading to poisoning and reproductive problems. Climate change is also a growing concern, as rising sea levels and changes in precipitation patterns threaten to alter crane habitats. Fortunately, there are many people and organizations working to conserve cranes and their habitats through habitat restoration, captive breeding programs, and public education. We can help ensure that these magnificent birds continue to grace our skies for generations to come. Cranes are more than just beautiful birds. They are also important indicators of the health of our ecosystems. As top predators in their food webs, cranes play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of nature. Their presence or absence can tell us a lot about the overall health of an ecosystem. Cranes also hold cultural significance for many people around the world. They are often seen as symbols of longevity, good fortune, and fidelity. In some cultures, cranes are believed to carry the souls of the departed to the afterlife. By protecting cranes and their habitats, we are not only conserving biodiversity, but also preserving a vital part of our natural heritage. Let us all do our part to ensure that these magnificent birds continue to inspire us with their beauty and grace for generations to come.